Welcome to another update by Force 13 on Hurricane Hector, still a very powerful hurricane in the Central Pacific Ocean. It's currently at 17.8 degrees north and 166.6 degrees west with maximum winds of 135 miles an hour and a minimum pressure of 947 millibars. It's still moving west-northwest at this time, anticipated to take more of a northwest turn over the next two days, and will cross over into the western Pacific Ocean in two to three days as well. Here's the current forecast track for Hurricane Hector by the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. You can see right now the storm's still going to go west-northwest for about the next day or so before it takes a much more pronounced turn to the northwest. By day three, it will be crossing over into the Western Pacific Ocean as it crosses the International Dateline. And you can see right now that it's forecast to slowly weaken over the next couple of days before having a more accelerated weakening by days four to five, weakening into a tropical storm at that time. There are going to be two main factors that contribute to the weakening of Hector over the next couple of days. First off, you're going to see here the sea surface temperature is pretty warm where Hector is right now, a solid 27 to 28 degrees Celsius, nearly around the whole storm. But as it moves northwest over the next few days, it'll slowly encounter less favorable sea surface temperatures, going down to 26 and 25 degrees Celsius by the time it gets to day 4 and 5. The other and more important factor that will lead to the weakening Hurricane Hector is going to be a significant increase in wind shear. Right now, Hector is moving towards the edge of an area of very favorable wind shear. Over the past few days, it has been an area of virtually no wind shear, but as days 3 to 4 and 2 to 3 approach, the system will slowly be encountering increasing levels of shear. As we continue out into the forecast, these levels will only continue to increase, and this will eventually lead to the weakening of the storm as we get towards the end of the forecast cone. Let's take a look at some of the satellite imagery of Hurricane Hector. You can see right now it's still looking very impressive. This is how it's progressed over most of the past day now. It was looking more lopsided yesterday, but since then it's become much more round. An eyewall replacement cycle has completed. Colder cloud tops have surrounded the core of the system with a warming eye, although in recent frames you can see it waning a little bit. But it's still looking very impressive. It's round again, potentially attaining some annular characteristics once more. But you can actually see right now that it's still very impressive overall. Some outer bands of the system, just more clouds in general still impacting Hawaii and Johnson Island that just had a tropical storm watch lifted on it recently. But appearance on the satellite is looking very good. Let's take a look at a computer model for Hurricane Hector. This is the most recent GFS run out on the system. You can see right now it does take it mostly northwest now over the next few days, steadily weakening it as it does so as the storm will increase higher vertical wind shear and colder sea surface temperatures. By day four, it has a below hurricane stays, which is in consensus with most other models and continues to weaken it throughout the rest of the model forecast. Although at the very end, as it starts to turn more northward and a start to the northeast, it does seem like it actually intensifies the system a little bit, but this is really too far out to say anything for sure about strength at that point. Elsewhere in the tropics, we currently have Tropical Storm Christy currently at 70 miles an hour. Still a slight chance to reach Hurricane Cities, but that, those odds are decreasing as the system moves northwards. John also recently dissipated after slowly weakening over the course of two to three days. In the Atlantic, we also have two disturbances, both at low chance of development through the next five days. And in the Western Pacific, we're still pretty active. We have Tropical Storm Yagi, weakened slightly from yesterday because it's still highly sheared, but it's still there. We have 96W in the South China Sea, may develop at any moment. And we also have 97W, which is forecast to potentially develop over the next few days as well. That's going to do it for this update by Force 13 on Hurricane Hector in the Central Pacific Ocean. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, link will be down below. We are also on Facebook and Twitter at Force13, all in text, check us out there. We also have a Patreon for people to help us out. We are growing bigger and better every day, and we do need some help from people to keep growing as we run on no external funding for over seven years. That needs to change a bit for us to continue to go as we are right now, so hopefully you can leave it a little help there if you can. And we also are streaming tonight here on YouTube covering the tropics as well. Link to that will be down below. We are going to be live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time if you're watching this a day of release. Feel free to come watch the stream as well, be covering Hurricane Hector along with all the other storms and disturbances around. We're going to be streaming for an hour, so feel free to check that out. Anyways, guys, have a good day.